It's good to be here again. And we're looking at um, benefits of lockdown to February 23rd. Wow, 2022. How time flies. So um, please pray for us. Father, we thank you because we are always glad to be in your presence and we thank you because you are always there to teach us. So today, like never before, expose yourself to us. Help us to know what you want us to know per time. Thank you, dear Father. Thank you, we Lord. love you, our teacher. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So we'll be reading from 2 Samuel chapter 16, from verse 5 to 12. 2 Samuel chapter 16. Please do us the honor of reading that for us. Thank you. Okay, 2 Samuel chapter 16, 5 to 12. All right, I read. And when King David came to Bahurim, behold, there is came out a man of the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shime, the son of Gera. He came forth and caused steel as he came, and he cast stones at David and at all, and at all the servants of the King David. And all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. And thus said, Shimei, when he cursed, come out, come out, thou bloody man, and thou man of Belial. And the Lord, had, the Lord hath returned upon thee all the blood of the house of Saul, in whose stead thou hast reigned. And the Lord hath delivered the kingdom into the hand of Absalom thy son. And behold, thou hast taken in thy mischief, because thou art a bloody man. Then said Abishai the son of Zeruiah unto the king, Why should this dead dog cause my lord the king? Let me go over, I pray thee, and take off his head. And the king said, What have I to do with you, you sons of Zeruiah? So let, this cause, let him cause, because the Lord had said unto him, Cause David, who shall then say, Wherefore hast thou done so? And David said to Abishai and to all his servants, Behold my son, which came forth, out of my bow I seeked my life, how much more? Now may this Benjamin do it, let him alone, and let him cause, for the Lord had bidden him, the Lord had bidden him, it may be that the Lord will look on my affliction, that the Lord will requite me good for his causing this day. Mm. Mm. Benefits of a lockdown. Yes, so, sir. So sad, do you do us the honor of explaining to us benefits of lockdown? Okay. How the importance behind when we shut down, when we, when probably we're going through mm. our times with God. I used to say something back in the days that when you're, when God is taking you through a process, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah. The earlier you learn the lesson, the better. The faster you get out of the problem. Mm. So, sir, explain that to us. All right. So, looking at this, I think we should understand the lockdown here. It may be a down time in one's journey. It may be a period that you have to be out of sin. I mean, S-C-E-N-E, -E, it may be a period that you have to like uh, 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 um, go through one or two things as mm -hmm. a form of refining. But one thing is that for everything God takes us through, there is something to pick up from it. And some of these experiences makes us better, prepare us for a higher assignment. And by the way, as a believer, Romans 8.28, Romans 8.28 says, all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are called according to his purpose. So whatever a man passed through, once you know, in as much you are with Christ, is working for your favor, either good or bad, is bringing out something there. Then we should be sensitive to what God is saying part time. We should be sensitive to the environment. We should be sensitive to especially the spiritual environment and know what God is saying. Now, this was the situation David found himself, which we should call a lockdown because at that time, he was in, uh, 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 running from his son. His son has taken over the kingdom and he's seeking after his life. And here is a Benjamin that is causing a whole king. What did the king do? He has authority to kill this man. He has authority to bring down this man. But the king said, I would rather use this situation for my opportunity. If I should defend myself, God will not fight for me. If I should mm -hmm. defend myself, I may not be getting things right. By the way, this is even small compared to what my son is doing to me, how will I even now be fighting small thing? Let me leave this one. Because the one my son is doing to me is bigger than this one. It may be God will now look at it. You know what he was trying to say? It is not your fault. It is where you find me that make you to be talking to. Maybe if you do it more, God can look at what you are doing. And because of that, showed me mercy. You see the angle David is coming. David has ability as at that time to kill, to do anything. But he's seen another angle to it. 
possibly God will use this situation to look upon my affliction. Look at Psalm 119 verse 71 of our memory verse. Psalm 119 verse 71. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy status. Can you see that? That means through affliction, some lessons come. Through affliction, some minds are built. Through affliction, some people are being taught. So God take us through to teach us. I'm sure David must have learned something in that situation. Look at what you said. There is no situation God takes you through in life that is not building maturity into you. Exactly. And it's the need for the training you are going through. Mm. So we go through because God wants to bring out something out of us. At that time, David was a man of all who has fought several battles compared to one, just one person man. Even the servant were ready to follow. No, no, no. He said, leave him. Let him do what he want to do. Mm. He's actually reminding God that I am not here. Remember, this was the same David that he sent people to the wife, to Naba, the husband of Abigail, that give me something I want to eat and they didn't give to him. You know what he wanted to go and do? But look at this another situation. I think another lesson we should learn is that we should not tackle our situation the same way. Same way. Let God lead us by time. When God is leading us, we will respond based on the leading of the Holy Spirit. So the fact remains that David understood this is a time of lockdown. There is something for me to learn. Mm. There is something for me to pick from it. You know what happened? Every normal human being will have cast, will, will, his soul will have been cast down. Very true. But David, you could see from the words of his mouth, he was never, he was never disturbed at all. So um, the lockdown here is not the literary lockdown that no, no, the no, world no. went through at the no, time. No, no, it's not the lockdown the world went mm. through. It's just being used literally to represent a situation. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people are not in the physical prison. Moving on the street, they are actually in the prison. So the lockdown is talking about a down time in the life of a believer, a time that you just have to like go through. When that passes through the river, Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2, it will not overflow, it will not. Those are the kind of a lockdown this place is actually talking about okay. when you are passing through for example what happened to the three hebrew boys when they were in the body what happened, job? what happened to job thank you what happened to daniel what happened to joseph this is a period of lockdown in short what happened to jesus on the cross mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the lesson is that in the period of our lockdowns you know, no matter the shape the size the mm -hmm. form it would come mm -hmm. we should always remember that there is god with us within the storm and we should believe and more in we god we should listen yes we hear yes and learn the lesson yes, so sir. the prayer point here says that father please turn all my gloomy moments into brightness mm. today in jesus name can Amen. we pray in one word and ask that god will turn the gloomy moment of everyone around us everyone listening wherever they are into brightness today Let's pray for them that God would Amen. turn it around in the name of Jesus. Amen. And God would open the ears God. of every believer that might be going through Amen. something now to Amen. hear God. Amen. No matter how hard it Amen. might seem, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. From Amen. Jesus' name, we are afraid. Amen. Amen. Really, Amen. it's a wonderful lesson. Yes, and sir. I think I personally learned something here, mm -hmm. you know, that I'm sure people have learned too. Yeah. Thank you very much You're welcome, for coming and God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much.